So I just saw Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and before I get started, I gotta say, um, shout out to the movie theater that I saw this at, because it had some of the worst fucking seating I've ever had. They said it's like in the very front row, and it's the worst way to watch a movie, in my opinion. It's like watching the Star Wars title crawl, uh, just, uh, but that's the whole movie. It's just slanted, and you can only see like a portion of the screen, and you're having to move your eyes all over the place. It, it was fucking terrible, but yeah, um, great experience. We'll go back, and I'm uh, I'm I'm accompanied by Draco this time. Uh, can can you say hi? Potter. Okay. But anyways, I um. Yeah. So uh, I saw Black Panther, and I got to admit, I was kind of skeptical going in because I'm not really the biggest fan of the first one, and I know that's kind of a. Uh, a bad thing to say like oh my god you goddamn heathen how can you not like the first one um yeah so i didn't really have a whole lot of faith for this movie i just was hoping that it would be decent and that it wouldn't disrespect chadwick boseman and i think this movie did a really good job for what it had to do um sorry forgive me uh i'm really tired right now so you you guys are probably gonna have to deal with me speaking over myself or slurring a lot so yeah, that, that's what this video is going to be about. So, yeah. But, yeah, I think this movie honors Chadwick Boseman very well. They don't disrespect him or anything like that. And overall, I think the fact that this movie was dealt such a bad hand uh, and they took it and they still made this movie anyway is just a, a, a tribute to what the filmmaker wanted to do and what the whole crew wanted to do. They genuinely cared about making this movie, and you can tell. And it's not just in, like, the performances – because I could go on about that for days because Angela Bassett is incredible in this movie. Um, there's a scene that she is like acting her fucking ass off and I swear to God, I like her, her emotions are infectious. Like it, it was very emotional and I swear to God, I, I almost teared up. Like it, she was really good in the movie. So that's definitely a positive about this one. But it's also in like the directing as well and the... CGI and the cinematography, like, ugh, it doesn't feel like that this is just another Marvel movie, because that's been a big issue with Phase 4, is that they kind of felt like they've been on a conveyor belt, most Marvel movies are anyway, but this one feels like a real passion project, and it doesn't just feel like another Marvel movie, and that was nice, it was, fun. It was great seeing a true director's vision come to life rather than just seeing the same shit over and over again but that doesn't mean it's safe from just getting rid of the entire marvel formula there's still bits of it here and it does get a little annoying which can attribute to the bad pacing because this movie's like two hours and 40 minutes and i gotta tell you it does not deserve to have some of the scenes in this movie they're easily easily could have cut like maybe 20 minutes of this movie Especially the ones that involve Everett Ross or whatever his name is. I've already fucking forgotten. It serves no purpose to the narrative. And I swear to God, it could be cut and nothing would change. Except for the runtime, which would have greatly improved the movie in my opinion. But overall, I mean, this movie just had a very daunting task. And I think it delivered for the most part. And um, beyond, you know, Chadwick Boseman unfortunately passing away. They also had to make Namor cool, and I think they did a really good job. I think showing a different perspective other than Wakanda, like showing a different culture, is a good idea, especially considering, like, you know, we need to really feel like this culture, uh, Talakan, is able to essentially hold its ground against Wakanda, and I think they show them to be a very threatening force, so that was always really nice to see. And uh, Namor was a com really compelling villain, too. Um, it, it, he, again, he didn't just feel like a standard bad guy. There was some motivation there. And um, you, can, you can feel, like, why he feels the way this way, you know? It's not just another bad guy to just service the story. There's a lot of um, effort put behind him to make him cool. And this is a guy who has fucking wings on his feet, so... I'd say that's a pretty daunting task, and they did a good job with that, too. And it's not just the villain nor the cinematography or the filmmaking, but it's also the action as well. I think it has greatly improved, um, and as well as the CGI, because the CGI in the first one is fucking terrible. Like, 
I, I always think about it all the time. Like the first one was an Oscar nominated movie for best picture. And it looks like it's like fucking attack of the clones. But this one, it, the CGI is much more polished. And I think that it just works better in the movie. And it doesn't look like the fucking shitty fight at the end of the first one. So I appreciate as well that you can tell that they put their efforts into this and it didn't just feel like what they've been usually doing with their movies and shows where it just has fucking terrible CGI everywhere. So again, another great positive about the movie. And I think overall this, uh, I think this just surprised me, you know, especially as someone who's not a fan of the first one that much and someone who just wasn't really expecting much from this movie, period. I just appreciate that this was a fun movie that had a lot of emotional like depth to it and had great performances and you can tell that this was a true passion project rather than, you know, just another standard Marvel movie. And I'm curious to see what happens next. I um I'm hoping that this can be kind of a sign for Marvel to start making more movies like this. Uh at least with the amount of care put into it. So time only tell for that but either way i had a really good time with black panther wakanda forever it's definitely better than the first one and even with its minute issues it doesn't matter i will gladly watch this again and i cannot wait to buy it on blu-ray so yeah this is just gonna be a quick one for me uh if i had to grade it it's gonna get a 7.5 out of 10 and like i said it's a fun movie and i will definitely watch again so I would definitely check it out. It's doing great at the box office, which isn't really a surprise, but it's definitely worth your time and definitely worth seeing. So if you do see it, I hope you enjoy it. I am going to go to bed before I die. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to do more videos like this, depending on what type of content I want to make. I'm still waiting for a decent amount of views on my DCEU tier list. I don't know why you guys haven't fucking watched that video, but I would highly recommend that you do because I put a lot of work into it considering that I just moved into my new apartment and I had to slap that together for you with all my shitty equipment. Least you could do is watch my fucking video. Can you do that for me? Stop being bitches. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Okay. Bye. I'm out of here. See y'all later.